Well, here's a brief explanation on how to calculate the minimum cost for a three-dimensional construction. And here's a good example that you can use to review and prepare yourself for just a little calculus that gets done on this. Um, the question says it's a square base box and it says that the value must be 120 cubic inches and it's saying in the question that the, co the, the top costs eight dollars per square inch and the bottoms and sides cost four dollars per square inch and we're looking for to minimize the cost. Um, this question starts off by drawing a box and a nice way to draw those boxes too is to draw two interlocking rectangles. So if you're having trouble drawing the pictures, draw a rectangle, draw another rectangle that overlaps it, and then connect the corners together. It says it's a square-based box, even though I did not write it up here. So if we're labeling this picture, we want to make sure we use the same letter for the length and the width, and then the height is free to be whatever it needs to be. Um, so we wouldn't want to use the same letter three times over. The second step is to draw the, is to write out the equation that is the fact in the question, the numeric fact or the limitation. We're asked, we're told that the volume has to be 120. The volume formula for a rectangle is length times width times height. For this rectangle, it's x times x times h, and we're told that it's 120. What I do is I do a third step, which is to improve the constraint equation. You can improve this by getting h by itself. So we know that h has to be 120 divided by x squared. And you want to circle that. And notice that we hit a dead end on that question. It's as far as we can take the question based on this equation. There's nothing more that we can do with this. What you want to do is shift gears and go into the other fact or the other um, concept that's in this question. The other concept that's in this question is the cost. So we need to make an equation for the cost of actually building this box. That's going to combine some, some um, surface area themes along with the prices. So if we're going to build this box, the top cost $8 per square foot or per square inch and the top is got an area of x times x, or x squared. So the amount of material it takes to build the top is x squared, and it's $8 per, so it would be 8 times x squared, would be the cost of building the top. Now for the bottom, the cost of building the bottom would be $4 times the amount of material that the bottom is, which is x squared. We've got four sides also. Each side has an area of x times h. So we've got four xh's for all four sides. And the cost is $4 per square inch. So it's $4 times the amount of area that the sides make up. What you'd want to do here is simplify. You get 12x squared and 16xh. In step five, what we want to do is improve on this equation. And this equation looks fine the way it is. It's very simple, but it's not going to help us out any further because we've got too many variables in there. What you want to do is use the equation in step three and substitute it into part of the equation in step four. So a new improved version of the cost equation will be that the cost is 12x squared plus 16x times h. And h is no longer the letter h, but 120 over x squared. With a little simplifying, we can get this equation ready for the derivative. When you multiply 16 times 120, you get 1920. So it's 1920. The x cancels with the x, one of the x's down below, leaving you with just one x underneath. And then you can bring that x up to make it x to the negative first. And you'd want to do that because the next step, step six, this is step five, 
The next step, step six, is to find the derivative of the cost, which would be 24x, using that power rule, negative 1920x to the negative 2. You're going to take that derivative and set it equal to 0 and solve from there. Okay, just want to make sure my camera was still rolling. Okay, um, from here, you can add 1920x to the negative 2 to both sides, giving you this guy. You can then take that x to the negative 2 and rewrite it as x to the positive 2 in the denominator. You could set it up for cross multiplying. x squared times x would be x to the third, and 1 times 1920 would be 1920. With a couple quick moves, we can divide by 24, giving us 80. And then the cube root gets used to figure out that x is approximately 4.31. And that's the answer coming from step 6. The last step is to plug in this value into this formula to figure out what h is. Because remember, our goal is to find out what x and h is so we can figure out the minimal amount of cost. So taking that answer and feeding it in for h, gives us 120 over 4.31 squared. So we'll end up getting a value that is 6.46. And there we have it. We know that the dimensions that are necessary to get the cheapest box possible would be, so the answer would be 4.31 by 4.31 by 6.46. And if you wanted to feed those numbers into the cost equation, that would tell you um, how much money it would cost to build this box. Okay, I hope that helped out. And remember, I'm always looking to do requests too on the internet, and no one has ever really taken me up on it. So if you really have um, something that you want me to post, just um, email it to me at the high school, and I'll do my best, or send me a response via YouTube, and I'll see what I can do to help you out.